Uh, hello viewers, uh, the today's uh, topic is the cosmetic procedures and the lip augmentation, you know, so uh, many people are uh, uh, trying these days to for the lip enhancement, you know, so this is uh, what it is, you know. Uh, so if you want to improve the appearance of your lips uh, uh, you got your reason you know and uh, uh, plumping your pucker often improves self-confidence and uh, the sexual confidence as well you know uh, and the good news is that uh, uh, you have many options to improve the appearance of your lips and the methods we discuss here also reduce uh, the fine lines and the wrinkles around the, your lips you know and uh, it's important to uh, be realistic too and the injections are the implants that enhance the, the improve and improve your uh, natural look uh, but they are not uh, about performing miracles you know uh, so you need to be very careful, you know, and you need to be very clear, you know, so how better you will look, you know, what would be the new, um, new lips or the uh, enhancement, after enhancement you will look like, you know. Uh, you must be a, a, in a good general health overall if you are thinking to go for this procedure, you know, and uh, you are not a good candidate for the lip augmentation if you have like... A, uh, cold sores uh, uh, at the time you have the cold sores you know or um, certain diseases such as diabetes or the lupus you know or uh, any scarring on the lips you know or uh, the blood clotting problems you know uh, so if you have these problems so you are not a good candidate for the uh, lip augmentation and the next thing is what are the types of injections those are available for the lip uh, augmentation you know uh, now your surgeon will uh, most likely use the uh, topical anesthesia which is a painkiller applied directly to the lips for the injections you know and, uh, and these are performed on uh, outpatient basis in your doctor's office. Uh, now uh, the main options are uh, the number one is uh, article uh, which is a synthetic material that uh, uh, plumps up the lips you know, lips, you know because uh, it's uh, synthetic and you are at a higher risk of having an allergic reaction to it and uh, then if you got an injection of the collagen or fat uh, but uh, it uh, lasts uh, longer than uh, either you know and the second option is uh, uh, autologen you know so which is an injection for your own collagen you know so extracted from uh, another place of your body you know and uh, there's no risk for re allergic reaction to this as is part of your body and uh, this may be good for uh, people who are uh, ready to uh, commit to permanent results you know uh, collagen is another option and it can be extracted uh, from cows and injected into the lips so, so there is a risk of allergic reaction there and the other option is uh, 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 dermalogen you know so uh, it's a collagen extracted from uh, deceased human donors and uh, this is also a temporary fix uh, but your body should not reject it you know uh, the other thing is the face injections uh, which uh, use a specific type of connective tissue uh, harvested either from your own body or from uh, a deceased human donor you know and it can be implanted surgically uh, or injected you know so uh, the main uh, uh, drawback is uh, that uh, within a year of injection your body will uh, reabsorb this fasci you know and the other one is the fat from your own uh, thighs or the abdomen and can be injected into your lips and uh, there's no risk for allergic reaction for this uh, procedure because it's part of your body you know and uh, your body will not treat it as a foreign body so it's your own fat you know and uh, this can also be implanted uh, surgically uh, so if uh, you gain weight your lips uh, may enlarge since the fat cells uh, will get bigger you know uh, and uh, another option is uh, uh, hyaliform and uh, it's a material created from the natural body substances known as uh, hyaluronic acid you know and uh, there is no risk of uh, infection uh, but you will need uh, repeated treatments to maintain the results uh, and uh, the last one is the uh, restylane you know uh, 
it's a clear gel you know and it contains um, uh, uh, hyaluronic acid uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, biodegradable you know so your body will absorb it within about six months of the injection you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about uh, the lip augmentation or the lip enhancement or the cosmetic surgery of your lip you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye